I read a book about Jim Henson. There's going to be a dark crystal create a new creature. Rest in peace, Jim Henson. Dark crystal, age of resistance, new creature. I made this video today to show design a new crystal. Design a new creature for the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. And I have an idea for a new creature. And it's going to be anti-evil, anti-illuminati. Mm. Oh, but uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is illuminati, by the way. I, I mimic Octopus Man. I'm creative, so I can create my own creative fiction and it separates me from the Illuminati and the, their livestock humans. Mimic octopus man. So anyways. But now I got to show my creature. This video is all about my description. I didn't submit anything yet. Because I think I might have to draw something first. Or you could do digital art but uh I'm not going to do this part. Where is it? This gun is going to go with the video. I have a cre idea for a creature. It's going to be called a community. Canadian is In previous videos I made videos of a squirrel monkey evolving into a badger Wait, I should do- I'm gonna separate everything first. Like, I more- I gotta kind of set up first. I'm sure to keep it. Until the trailer ends. Travel to another world. Another time. time. Alright, I'm gonna begin now. The Dark Crystal. Ah, it's beautiful. The Dark Crystal soundtrack. After this, I'm gonna go get some art. I'm gonna... I gotta get some exercise. It's cold outside. Anyway, so let's just see this. I have an idea. It's called my creature is going to be called a Kaninigan. It's going to be based on the badger like monkey I did in my speculative evolution videos. <laughs> I called the it's going to be they're going to be called Kaninigan. I put scrambling because I had a vision or I had like an idea of there was a sketch and so I heard the word scrambling. But I think I'll just call them Kaninigans. I wrote the description. The Kaninigans failing looks like a hybrid between a black cat squirrel monkey and an American badger. It is similar to the Sasquatch slash Bigfoot, 
The Kinnigan is also called a Digfoot because it can dig. It is thought to be a cryptid in Gelfland folklore. Supposedly a simian like creature. And he has its force. It has the fierceness of a honey badger. Such motel. Now let's see the shape shifting. Also, it's gonna be part star nose more. Because I noticed that. Also, it has a third eye. The Tutara's third eye can only be seen when it's a baby. A third eye. Because I have this idea of making Skeksis that are like, that they can, they can like shape shift to look like different races. But the mole cricket antenna, it's gonna be part mole cricket too. The Illuminati are the Alpha Draconians and they are Skeksis like. Are you gonna get the third eye? But I didn't submit anything yet because I might. I don't know if I should just submit it the way it is or just draw it. But man, you know, I go live, but drawing that would take a while though. I'm thinking too. the third eye is there. We could And that is my community. That's my creature right there. Now let's see. They it said the contest says front view and side view. This is the contest here. Like the official. I might have to draw it though, but this video I'm just showing. See, I might have to draw it though. Make a drawing version of it. For now, I just want to explain what I'm making, though. I read the official rules. I made an account. I have an account on this site. Official rules. Our world is like the They Lose movie. The Alpha Draconians are like the bully. Like, oh, here, the rules. But I'm going to show more of the shape shape. I gotta focus on the shape shifting first. There. I have. I think like putting like this, like the star-nosed mole, makes it look more interesting. But I'm gonna have to. I might have to draw it though. I'm gonna put the mole tricky part. Part of me is also, I saw like a rat tail, the honey badger, a pretty tough animal. I'm, I wonder if I should make it part honey badger. <laughs> but then again, uh, putting the tail on the, that part doesn't really... I mean, it's the mammal part and thing will separate, so it's a kind of a thing. Oh, and I gotta put... Awesome. Kind of looks like an elephant or something. But you know, they're kind of like uh, giant ground sloths. They make tunnels. There. That's. There. The, 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 the contest is like, you gotta put. You know, the Dark Crystal was filmed in North Yorkshire, and I have like. This is picture is like woods in North Yorkshire. So, and badgers, they live in North Yorkshire. There's the badger in North. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the squirrel monkey in here. There. 
Now I'm gonna take. You know, going to the library print. You know, like I would have to print so many like part different parts, but I just reuse parts to put on the parts because it costs. You know, going to the library costs money. Besides, I think I just have to draw it. So like, my submission is go would make the Dark Crystal anti-Illuminati. Because Jim Henson might have been talking about... No, he was talking about reptilians. Skeksis are the reptilians. Or, you know, I could always just... Actually, I could just put this back here. I could put this on top here. On top. So basically, my Kinnigan is like half black squirrel, cap squirrel monkey, half American badger, half star nose mole, and half mole cricket. I'm wondering if I should make it half red tail though. But I don't know if it's hard to fill out those cards though. And uh, if it didn't have that snout thingy, without the snout, the mouth actually looks like... Well, the mouth kind of looks like that, but... I'm thinking if I should add more to the mouth, like a gorilla face and head or... See, I cut like a... Because to make the mouth look fearsome. Because Fizzgig kind of looks... He has like a two rows of teeth, or he has like lots of teeth. Oh, the Illuminati are the Aswangs, vampires of Mahar Lankin slash Philippine mythology. The Illuminati, they make themselves look like humans. I have to make this video to describe what I'm doing. If I make, I might make another video where I submit my entry, but it has to be a drawn version. And drawing takes time. Like, plus, it sounds like it costs money. I don't know. I have to, like, blah, 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 blah. When you're doing art, it always costs the, it costs the moolah, the money. There, the wing, no freaking wings. The parts to make it look more. Because, you know, Dark Christmas creatures, they look like kind of like weird and stuff. There's a certain. When you look at the crystal. No, creatures from the Dark Crystal, they just look like really, really weird. There. Let me get it. I'm reusing parts because money. I guess that's what the moth would look like without the snout. There. Beautiful. Perfect digging feature. 
But you know, I'm. I'm. You know, I'm pretty much the picture of the other guys. And they have like pretty cool, cool models. So I'm wondering if I can apply it to the kids with my skin again. Because like, uh, Snarl knows moles can swim in water. Oh, wait, I have the picture. The start. Wait, I'm just gonna get the start. Starnosed mole. Basically, my my Kinnigan is part Starnosed mole. But I'm wondering how I should. The math I'm wondering what I should do about. Hmm. Well, if I didn't, but I'm wondering if that's just too much though. Well, I'll show with the gorilla mouth here. See? With the gorilla. That's if it's like this, basically, what the creature would look like if it's like angry. And he all up here, so. Like, this is. The Kinnigan is not an animal creature you want to uh, piss off because it's like. Uh, it's very like. It's dangerous, basically. There. I'm wondering if in my story, I should make the Kinnigan, like, a creature that protects the Crystal Shard from the Skeksis. And then it's up to the Gelfling Warriors to retrieve it or something. Not that they want to kill it, but, like, it's been, it's, uh, it's uh, designed to just protect it until, because by the and then the creature is keeping it safe until the gulf will use it to like, like uh, until Jen takes it as a food. And then during the Garth Wars, the gulf warriors have to like... But see, now there. anyways, look, see I put the gorilla moth there, so if the creature opens its mouth, you can see that it has like sharp teeth. That makes it very dangerous. So it can like, since it has like wings, and it can swim, it can dig, it's pretty form, it's a formidable beast. But I'm wondering if I should, I'm wondering if I should make it like half a leatherback sea turtle too. To enter. Official rules. I have it right there. I'm wondering if I, my Kinnigan should have a mouth like a leatherback sea turtle and a gorilla. I mean, I printed it out anyways. Great music. My fearsome Kinnigan. I'm wondering, but then again, maybe it's not, I don't know how I would like fit it in though. Wait, I'm gonna try to cut it. Look at my Kinnigan. I'm just getting the black. The, the black. I gotta not cut that finger here. Oh, I'm cutting it. Because I'm wondering if I should just like... 
Make it even more awesome. I can make my Kinnigan more awesome with a leather bag sea turtle mouth. Man, I don't know if I should just like take the like just the photos of it and then just like doing it that just like submit it anyway. Yeah, I'm, la I'm lazy to draw. No, I'm like me. I did it. I did. If I had known earlier, maybe I would have had more time to work on it. I don't want to like rush and stress myself out just to finish it. I don't need that for you really know. But I want to do it because I want to make the Dark Crystal anti Illuminati. Anti evil. Forces of evil take fiction and corrupt it. Wait, I did, how much did I cut? I caught it. But you know, uh, I'm gonna see if I can. Um, I got the monitor. Okay, I got it. I got the, both the fearsome gorilla mouth and the fearsome leatherback sea turtle mouth. They both look pretty cool though. Imagine a creature like me if the if the if my Kaninigan can swim underwater, then why can't it like you know like I'm gonna cut it. Cool. I'm gonna cut it. I love animals. Animals are nice. Animals are better than, uh, humans. Ah. Uh, humans kill and rape. There. Heart leather back sea turtle. I mixed it. I have to do this now. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just take the pictures of it, upload them, and it's, it's not... I don't know, I don't feel like drawing. Wait, I cut it. I cut it like this. I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. So basically now, my Kaninigan has lots of sharp little teeth here. Wow, so don't get bitten by a Kaninigan. You'll get really fucked up. Wow. There! Hmm, try to see. No, I can just always move it more down. Lots of sharp teeth. So if it opens its mouth, it would have really lots of sharp teeth. Cause this geek has lots this geek has a weird mouth too. So that's what a Kinnigan's mouth would have. See, see, look at that look at that weird ass mouth right there. He's anger. He has like weird teeth. Also, um, my creature, my Kaninigan, can hunt with like a fizzgig like animal. Go back to my description. Oh, yeah, I got more from here. Kaninigans are. Wait, the Kinnigan looks like a hybrid between a black cat squirrel and an American badger. Number two, a uh, Sasquatch slash Bigfoot. The Kinnigan is also called Bigfoot. Oh, wait, oh, oh, I might be running out of time.
time here. I gotta really make my space. Here it is. Kininigan, Kininigans and the coyote like wild relatives of Fisgig's race could hunt together. It's similar to badgers, the coyotes hunt together. Each member of the hunting party has a distinct set of skills as nimble and quick as they excel at chasing predators. In open prairie, Kininigans are slow and awkward runners by person. They're better diggers than Fisgig as having evolved small creatures in them. So when the creatures, a hunt creatures on their own, you can usually dig them up while chasing plants. Or, I gotta give up a name to that. The creatures use different strategies, depending which predator is after. I'm just gonna do the only way they can I'm running out of time, I gotta end, up now. end it now.